I am really excited about today's video because this is something that I have never done before and we are going to be doing a three-way face-off. If you don't know what a face-off is, this is something that was started by Danielle Schmidt. I will link her channel down below if you want to check her out, but basically what you do is you draw five different colors as if you're doing a palette bingo and then whoever you're face-offing with or facing off with, I guess you would say, use the same color to create a look with. So this is really interesting because today we are going to be using the subculture palette because we kind of just figured that this is like one of the palettes that we have in common that we all like but we don't get enough use out of. So this is what we're going to be using and the people that I am, I didn't even say this, but the people that I am facing off against are Katie Marie and Betty Jean, which are two of my really close friends here on YouTube. So this is going to be fun. And how this came about was I posted on my Instagram stories a while back asking if anybody wanted to do a face-off with me and that I would do a face-off with the two first people who responded. So they just happened to be the first ones and we decided to make this a three-way because we just thought that would be kind of cool. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And so I've already drawn the shades that we're going to be using. So I will show them to you right now. And the first shade is going to be Adorn, which is the kind of bronzy shade. Next up we have Axis, which is the dark green, and this is one of my favorites in this palette. Then we have Roxy, as well as Edge and Rowdy. So I mean, this is a pretty fun color story, and I'm really excited to dig into this and see what we can come up with. And I feel like all of our looks are going to be so different just because of the styles and the way that we do makeup. So I'm really excited. I don't really have a plan yet. I've kind of thought about this, but I haven't actually swatched out the shadows and looked at them up close like this. And I had an idea in my head, and now looking at these swatches, I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. So let me just like think about this a little bit more and then we can get started. But while we do that, I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot. So I think I'm just going to stick with my original plan, which I've obviously not told you yet, but I was thinking I wanted to do a full cut crease. And the reason why I'd want to do this, or not really, but the reason why I... Okay, I'm not explaining myself very well here, but basically I don't like these two shades together so I don't want them to touch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the coral shade with the brown and I'm going to put the yellow with the green. So I'm going to, in my cut crease, I'm going to use the yellow and the green and then on my lower lash line I'm going to use the brown and the coral. And then in my inner corner I'll probably pop the gold and then I'll probably keep the lid space just blank and not do anything with it. Just put like a nude colored eyeshadow. And I think that's going to be it. So I think I'm going to start off by taking the green shade and I'm going to put that in my crease and then I'm going to use the yellow to blend that out with. So I'm first going in with Axis and like I said, I'm going to be putting this in my crease. And it has been so long since I worked with the subculture palette, so I'm going to take it kind of slow here. And I want to make sure I put this low enough down that I can still go in with the yellow shade and kind of blend above this. So I'm basically just packing this on now in my crease where I want it. And I'm trying very hard to not make it go lower down than I have to because I am going to cut my crease and this shadow is so dark that when I go in and cut my crease I want my concealer to be able to cover all of that up. <laughs> Another reason why I want to do full cut crease is because I don't think any of the other two are going to be doing that, so I kind of want to just make sure that all of the looks are going to be different, you know? Because that's just going to be more interesting for everybody, myself included, to watch what they are going to be doing. I am so curious to what they're going to do. So I think this is looking pretty good, now I just need to do the same on the other eye. So definitely the one thing that I struggle with the most is getting like the end of the cut crease to look good, just like the upper part of the end of the cut crease because it's just really hard to get them even. So next I'm going to go into Edge, which is the yellow shade right here, and I'm going to be placing that just right on top of this green and try to blend this out. And I'm not going to be using a lot of this, I just want the shadow to just kind of show up, you know? Just kind of be there, say hello. don't want this to be too, too prominent. It has seriously been so long since I used this palette that I almost forgot how to work with it. Not that I really feel like I ever knew how to work with this because I got this palette like very early in my 
makeup journey and I've said this before but I've not been into makeup for that long so when I got into makeup and I got this palette I didn't really know how to work with it so I kind of just like didn't use it for a while and now I feel like I still don't really know how to work with it because I haven't quite figured it out so this is fun I'm really enjoying being able to pull this out again especially as a collab as well I think that's kind of cool so I'm trying really hard to not make this too too muddy but I still want it to be Blended. So I think this is looking pretty good. Now I just need to do the same on the other eye, which is always the problem. Oh, and if you want to know what brush this is, it's the Sigma E36. It's a very, very flimsy kind of small fluffy brush. I'm also just going to go in with a clean fluffy brush and basically just run that right where I mix these two together just to make sure that it is blended so I think I'm gonna leave it at this and then I think I want to do my lower lash line before I go in and cut my crease no I'm gonna cut my crease first so I'm going to use my P. Louise face if I can find that somewhere so I will not be talking while I do this because I need to concentrate so I'm just gonna fast forward and you guys can watch and I am going to cut my crease higher than my natural crease because I need this cut crease to show all the way across when my eyes are open. I'm just going in with a small kind of pencil now and I am taking a bit more of that dark green and just putting it like right in my crease to make sure that the line where I did cut my crease is looking nice and sharp and also just a little bit darker than the rest so it gets a bit more of a gradient. And this is really just like a paintbrush that I got on Amazon so it goes to show you don't always need to use uh, makeup brushes. Okay, so I have so many ideas going through my head right now, and now I'm kind of torn and I don't know what to do anymore, so uh, let's just take a look at these. Like, I kind of want to put something on my lid because I feel like when I cut my crease, you can see my whole lid is pretty much green because I kind of dragged some of that shadow down, so now I kind of feel like I want to cover that up, but I don't know if I want to use any of these mattes, or the shimmer for that matter. So I think what I want to do first is that I'm going to take some of this uh, pressed powder and I'm going to set about the last half or so of my lid and then I'm going to go in with actually the peach shade right here and I'm going to put that kind of diagonally like in the first half or so. I'll just show you kind of what I mean like I have a vision in my head of what I want to do but first I'm going to go ahead and set this and hope that this powder will cover up a little bit of the pigmentation underneath my primer here. <laughs> and it doesn't really do that which is kind of annoying because I feel like I can still see that green through probably serves me for using a translucent powder to try to cover this up <laughs> maybe not the best idea I've ever had nope so let me just pat this out in the inner part here and this look might end up looking absolutely ridiculous and crazy, but I'm next going to take that peach shade, which is called Roxy, and I'm going to pack that starting in my inner corner here. I'm going to be packing this on, like I said, about the first half or so, but I'm going to be creating a bit of a diagonal line here and then just fading this out. So it's gonna look a bit like this. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and then I'll come back and we can do the lower lash line and figure out what I wanna do with a shimmer shade. All right, so let's go in on the lower lash line now. I'm first going to take the brown shade or maybe I should take the peach shade. Do I even wanna use the peach shade anymore? Not really, I kinda of just wanna use the brown. So I'm going to take Rowdy and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line all the way from the inner part to the outer part of my eye. All 
Like, I really wish I could be the kind of person who could do a glitter liner with shadows and not have it transfer into my crease as soon as I put it on. But that's not going to happen, so we're not going to be doing any kind of glitter liner today. But let me just go ahead and blend this out a bit more before we move on. So I'm just taking a smaller, a bit fluffier brush here, and I'm just going to really buff this out. So I might just be boring and put that gold in my inner corner. I think I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to spray this. And to be fair, this is probably more of a bronzy shade than a gold, huh? I don't know why I keep calling it gold. I feel like all these metallic shades are just the same to me because I don't really use them. So I'm just going to pop that right in here. And I think this is going to be it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put on some liner and mascara and just kind of see how this is looking, if I am happy with this. Um, not like super happy with it the way it's looking now, but I feel like once I put on the rest of my eye makeup, sorry, I'm like wiping off my swatches and I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> but I'm going to finish up the rest of my eyes and then we'll see where we're at. If I want to add something extra, maybe I will. Maybe I will do that before I'm back. Who knows? But I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so this is going to be the completed look. I know I cheated a little bit and I used this Appeal Liquid Eyeshadow uh, just in the inner part of my eye. Uh, not really sure where I got this or really where this came from, but it's new and I've never tried it before somehow. So this is what the look is going to end up looking like and I think it came out okay. I still can kind of see that green poking through the concealer and that's bothering me a little bit, but I think it looks fine and I need to find a lipstick and I'm thinking I kind of want to do a red because I like doing reds with this color scheme so let me find something that I can put on. I might even just do my O for a rendezvous so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I've just really been loving this lipstick so I'm going to pop this on. Okay, so I think this is going to be the finished look and I'm pretty sure this is going to be different than what Betty Jean and Katie Marie is going to be doing, but if you want to see what they did, I will of course link them up in the corner as well as down in the description box. So go check them out, go see what they did. If you're not already subscribed, go subscribe to their channels because they are both amazing people. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more multi-way collabs or multi-way face-offs because this is so much fun and I can't wait to do this again at some point. So thank you so much to everybody for watching. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.